Hiya everybody, Crystal here, uh, it's 2.27pm and I'm taking my dog Max for a walk, small chihuahua there, got his coat on, it's a bit chilly, a bit chilly. Walk along here. There's a bicycle coming down the path. Woman with a bicycle. Let's just let her go past. I'm not in the slightest bit angry today. I'm feeling better, a lot better than I did yesterday. A lot better. I haven't got jeans on. I've got black with leggings and purple trainers <laughs> so came out round the back of the flats someone was bringing a big black dog out of the back entrance to the adjacent flats and I walked past them smiling because it's a lovely day and it's nice and sunny Sun's up. Lovely day. Just had a message from Flirt Finder, so let's read it. Three minutes ago, before I left the flats, a message from Flirt Finder. To me, Ginestra. I didn't answer it, I haven't answered it. From Super Local Member Alert, let's go up here. So this this arrived three minutes ago from Interesting Desire 8. Alert, we found someone we thought you should meet. Just come out three minutes after this. Right. It's been quiet upstairs because he hasn't had his kids up there. So it's been quiet. And I'm glad because I have actually not been too well. People fishing over there, fishing off the side. That's what that man was behind me this morning. He's doing some fishing. Sun's out. I told you I'm happy on my own now. I'm not looking for anybody. quite happy by myself I'm just going to go down here I went to the co-op this morning the co-op <laughs> got food didn't I I got food Hmm. 
Fishing's all right if you want to stand around for hours waiting to catch a fish. And in the cold you can freeze. <laughs> I haven't gone fishing God, ages ago, a couple of years ago. It's a hobby where you have to have a lot of patience. And if you're quite happy to stand around in the cold in the rain, well, that's not, that's not something that I want to do right now, I'm afraid, not me. So the Scotland boat is there from this morning. And the bow trader watches the riverside. because I've made it plainly clear that I don't want to fling I don't want a casual relationship and I, I, I don't want to be used so you're not going to get anything so I'm quite happy we've got the guy that looks like my father Derek with the electric shock hair walking down in front of me this guy's got really, really grey, like, <laughs> hair stood up on end, and mine's ginger, isn't it? It's ginger. So, hopefully, you know, I'll get somewhere with moving. And hopefully some of it will stop. My father, Derek, drove me home to my flat once and he didn't actually come inside my flat not here he didn't like the place he said it looked like a prison so my father Derek ne never actually came in my flat where I live now um, he didn't like it from the start <laughs> There was a lot of kids hanging about when these uh, my flats were being built. A lot of kids. And they used to throw things at cars and stuff. So he didn't like it. No, I got driven home in a taxi once and it, he was a guy from, I don't know where he was from, some foreign country like Poland or somewhere like that. And he said to me, what are you looking for? What are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking for a relationship. And he said, well, you know, is that, are you sure that's what you want? I said, yeah, that's right. And this taxi driver asked for my phone number. He was like foreign. He said, I think I might be able to help you. Foreign taxi driver. It was the one that I got in the taxi from my mum's and he had one of his wing mirrors broken. 
and uh, he took my phone number but I guess I think the guy was looking for no strings attached a taxi driver look that's why you got to be careful with everybody so it was a um, taxi driver that asked me for my phone number so no, it was talking nice it was okay but Obviously, he was a lot younger than me. I'm in my 50s. I would say he was about 30, 32. That's the guy that looks like my father, Derek. See, they won't stop doing it. My dad's dead. I go to see my mother. And she's not a bloke, obviously. Won't stop doing it. <laughs> trapped in this prison and all those guys the guys that I have gone out I've been married, I've had four kids three boys and a girl <sighs> it's ridiculous and I'm not going on that field either because I've, I've sprained my foot and I'm just taking it slowly The reason why people laugh is because they're looking stupid. <laughs> they're really looking stupid now. <laughs> so, there we are. There's a swan. There's that lady riding on her bicycle. Oh, somebody called me the bike of Rochester. That's a complete joke. I haven't had a relationship for six years. And that was three years before I moved here. <laughs> I haven't had any more stupid, like, people applying... Well, not applying. Following me on TikTok, but, I mean, it's rife with hatred, TikTok. It's absolutely... Um, TikTok is just full of trolls and horrible people. And they don't just do it to me, they do it to everyone. They go into people's live streams and take the piss. There's a white moped over there outside Costa Coffee. An old lady come out of her cart with some flowers. I went in there this morning. You know, my dad Derek was a thief, so my father was a thief. <laughs> Alright, Max, be a good boy. I have sprained my foot, but I've been told to exercise it. And so I'm doing exercises. And I'm not going to stop doing my TikTok or this because a few people are trying to upset me either. Good boy. And I'm a straight female, completely straight. I... I was married for 18 years. I've had four children. I mean, I've seen people in tears on TikTok where they've been bullied to death and they're crying their eyes out. I don't take any notice of it. And when it's serious, you report it. That's all you can do. They just stir things and if you're getting on and you're doing well, they like to upset you. It's not just me, it happens to everyone. <sighs> I'm going to stop here.